Hello everyone, my name is Idiotic Synergy and today we are covering the Greater Brass Scorpion. This big fucking thing. I like it. I do like it, but my god it's pricey at £194.50. It is quite a pricey model. It is very pricey and I kind of like it. However, it is resin. It's a complete resin kit. So building it is a pain in the ass because it's Forge World resin, meaning that if you buy this during summer or winter, you're fucks. I do like the model though. I do like the model. Also, the paint job is extremely nicely done. I do like how shiny it looks and yeah, it's, it's a very nice looking model. But £194, it better be decent in game. Otherwise, well, to be fair, if you are going to buy it, you're going to buy it regardless of whether or not it's good in-game or not. Because this, this seems to be a model that you will spend most of your life on to get looking really good. And yeah, it's a very nice looking model. I do like the sculpt as well. Uh, for some reason, I'm having problems with this uh, web page, so... Yeah, there's no <laughs> there's no picture there or there, which is a shame, but I do I do admire the model. The model does look rather nice and I want to know what it does in game. Also, I I want pe I do I, <laughs> I want people to bring these uh to bring these more in game because they seem like well, they seem from appearances alone quite cool, but it's 194 quid, mate. It's a lot of money to spend on one unit. Anyway, let me get into the rules, shall I? Shall shall I? Yes, let sh let me. I can't talk. I'm gonna shut up. Here are the rules. So these are the rules for the Greater Brass Scorpion, and they're quite good. I do like them. Uh, the Greater Brass Scorpion is 430 points. Uh, which is surprisingly quite cheap, considering it's got the Titanic trait and keyword. So it must be quite a big old model. And yeah, this this is quite good. Top bracket, hell, even the second bracket and half bad. Because you are moving at a whopping 12 inches, which is very fast. Uh, weapon skill 3, ballistic skill 3. Uh, strength 8, toughness 8, which is quite good. Uh, wounds 28, it's got 28 wounds, uh, 6 attacks, uh, leadership 9, strength, uh, not strength, uh, save of a 3. Also, it's corn, so you sort of, I, I don't, exa I'm, I play Chaos Space Marines, but I think t to use this you need to have, you need to have most of your army be allied with corn to use it, but I don't. I don't really know how it works because I haven't put because my night lords are just generic night lords. They aren't chaos. They aren't uh, afflicted by chaos gods. Anyway, um, the Great Brass Scorpion is for. Remember, this is only four hundred and thirty points. A Greater Brass Scorpion is equipped with demolition can demolisher cannon, scorpion cannon, two Hellmore flame cannons, and Hellcrusher claws. Now. The Demolisher Cannon is heavy D6, strength 10, AP minus 3, damage uh, D6, and it's got blast, so that's quite good. The Flame War Cannon is, you've got two of them, and it's a strength 8 flamer. It is a strength 8 flamer, and with Let the Galaxy Burn, that flamer becomes D6 plus 2. D6 plus 2 attacks with the flamer, meaning... You could get eight attacks with just one of those if you're lucky. It's quite good. It is very good. Uh, but strength eight is strength eight flamer. Bloody hell! You can basically you're wounding space marines on twos. Uh, AP minus two, damage one. I'm surprised the damage isn't a little bit better, but then again, strength eight flamer ain't half bad at all. And Scorpion Cannon, I like the Scorpion Cannon. Heavy 15. Yeah, you've got a lot of shots coming out of that fucking tail of his. 
And it's strength 5, AP minus 2, damage 1. So you're just gattling everybody down with the heavy, with the scorpion cannon. Not only that, it's got some really good melee wheel options. Uh, which, again, works quite well if you're on wanton slaughter. Because 6s ga uh, gain you additional hits. Uh, you have got the hell crusher's claws. Uh, where, where if they're in the crush profile... Strength times two, so strength two times eight, so strength uh, 16, strength 16, that's a, that's a fucking lot, strength 16, you're basically just beaning tanks at that point, tanks you're wounding on twos, uh, AP minus four, damage six, remember you've got six attacks, and if you're on the top profile still, that, yeah, bloody hell, that is, that is, <laughs> that's quite good. However, there is no invon save, so, yeah, you this thing could get shot off the board rather quickly. But if you position it well and get lucky, then, ooh. I mean, saying that, the attacks don't go down, only the hits do, which is alright. Uh, but you're still moving pretty goddamn fast. And it's toughness 8. It's quite good. Also, uh, oh, it does have an invulnerable save of a 5 up. And regains one lost wound. Yeah. Demon engines, baby. Let's go. I want to know what ha Oh, I kind of I kind of want Vashtor. Oh, man, that would be such a cool list, having Vashtor. I don't know what he does. I don't know what he does in game yet. But imagine Vashtor, right? With a bunch of brass scorpions. That would be sick. But I do digress. So let's get into sweep. Which is the other profile. Uh, you, strength of the user. So just a measly strength 8. <laughs> strength of the user. Strength 8. You are beaning infantry quite easily. Uh, a, AP minus 2. Damage 2. Each time an attack is made with this weapon. Make thirty, uh, make uh, three hit rolls instead of one. Uh, that's that's a lot. I nearly said make thirteen hit rolls. <laughs> oh god, that would be insane. Uh, but if you just have all six attacks, be be the, I yeah, you have to make one on profile. So if you just have sweeping, uh, <laughs> that's eighteen attacks in melee. Strength A, AP minus 2, damage 2. That's a... Yeah, you're killing Space Marines really easily with that. In fact, you're killing it, a lot of things really easily with that. Though Crush is quite good against vehicles. It's very good. AP minus 4 and just damage 6 because fuck you, that's why. And it's got the Titanic rule. A frenzied cr Crawler. Each time a charge roll is made for this unit, roll 1 additional D6... And you can ignore any or all uh, modifiers to that charge roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's... Wow, he, he's getting in. That You can't stop him. God won't stop him. Corn won't stop him. No one can stop this guy when he charges. He's just in. Unless, you're, unless you roll three ones. In which case... It's, yeah, that hurts. But <laughs> he's in. He's just going to be in and just wreck your shit. Uh, runes of the Blood God. If this uh, model is selected as the target of a psychic power or would suffer mortal wounds as a result of a psychic power, roll 1d6 on a 4-up. This model is unaffected by that psychic power. <laughs> so basically he's like, nah, mate, you, you don't do anything to me. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's too angry to be affected by psychic powers. <laughs> Just imagine a Zinch Sorcerer just trying to use psychic powers on this scorpion and it just gets even angrier. It's like, fuck off! Run! <laughs> and when it explodes, on a 5 or a 6, it explodes and each unit within 2d6 suffers d6 mortal wounds. Yeah, you're kamikaze that very easily. And you can ally it with any, yeah, with basically any faction, but it needs to be corn. So you can't use Nurgle bullshit or Zinch stuff. But, saying that, you get Death to the False Emperor. Can you use... Yeah, oh. Oh. Okay. 
Mmm, you can use Flay Them Alive. Combat Attrition. Yeah, they're just going to fail Combat Attrition. And Vox Scream. You can use Vox Scream on this. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. I love that. You can use Vox Scream. Deny, deny other people's auras ability. That's great. I love how you can use Vox Scream. Uh, there... Yeah, that's quite... Yeah, you're, you're close combat anyway. You might as well turn off rerolls for your opponent. Or any auras they might have. Yeah, basically, this model with Night Lords could be a pain in the ass. But I'm not spending... £194 on this model. I refuse to. My wallet is already hurt enough from all the fucking train tickets I have to buy. Uh, but, yeah, that's the Brass Scorpion. It is really good. It's just really good. And I'll see you later. Remember, take care and look after each other. Bye for now.